I've done a lot of commercial real estate investing. I think there are reasons to think that Flow, this new company, could actually be better than WeWork. And let me just explain. So with WeWork, you know, if you talk to commercial office space owners, landlords about WeWork like 10 years ago, what they would have told you is, yeah, look, th- that model is great, but we want tenants who are high credit and sign long-term leases. Why? Because they're not worried about what happens in a bull market. They're worried about what happens in a recession, and they want to make sure they can cover their bank debt. So landlords have always cared not just about rents, but also about having high credit long-term uh, leases. What WeWork basically did is arbitrage that. Of course, it was a much better deal for startups because if you're a startup, you don't have to go through a complicated process to sign a lease. You could just go month to month at a WeWork and you'd be willing to pay a premium for that. So WeWork's business worked great during an up market because they would rent space for, say, 50 bucks a foot, lease it for 100, and they would capture the spread. The problem is the business was highly levered to a boom cycle. And at the first recession or bust cycle, all of a sudden, they're going to have massive vacancy because everyone can leave. And all of a sudden, their rents go below their the, – the rents they're collecting go below the rent they're paying, and the arbitrage goes away. They magnified that problem by making two mistakes. Number one, they signed a lot of top-of-market leases, right? They were signing leases at $100 plus per foot in hot markets. And the other thing is they didn't seem to have a lot of financial discipline. You know, I guess that show kind of makes fun of these sort of Bacchanalian parties they had and so forth like that. You can get away with – a lack of spending discipline if you're a 90% gross margin business like a Google. But when you're a real estate business who's got real cogs, not having spending discipline is actually a problem. So for all those reasons, I think WeWork kind of contained the seeds of its own implosion inside of their model, and they needed to manage or mitigate those risks a lot better. That's not to say, though, that it wasn't a great product. I mean, for it every was start, in the early it was days. an amazing product. Yeah. I mean, in the early days, yeah. Zach, so to your point... They were taking under market, like really low uh, cost per square foot space, like in the tenderloin, and then selling it for, you know, Bryant and Third Street rents, right? I mean, that was the arbitrage and it worked. It's only they lost that discipline, it sounds like in the second half of the company's history. Right. What I think is interesting about flow is that it's sort of multifamily, these apartment type buildings. Those tend to be, you know, let's call it one year leases anyway, and they're owning them. They're not leasing from a landlord. They're basically... So, Tramas, right. It's basically a standard apartment replay where Newman is going to create a consistent experience and brand across the country. I'm not sure that's really been done before where there's like a brand for apartment living. It's never been done. Yeah. And so, actually, it, it's pretty simple in terms of measuring if it's going to work or not, which is simply, can Adam Newman deliver lower vacancy rates and higher rents? And then, you know, buy apartment buildings at market prices. So in other words, that's the arbitrage is can he extract more rent and less vacancy from apartment units by creating this national brand and this experience. But this and, is and this hopefully is, do it with financial I mean, discipline. 